Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my long overdue project polish update. This is my third update in this project. I totally skipped the update that was due sometime around July and by now you all know why. It's because, you know, I was not filming during the summer. But I am back with my mug with all my po project polishes in here. And I'm ready to update you guys because I do have some empties. Before we get into today's update, I want to brief you guys on the polishes that I finished previously. If you're interested on more details from polishes that I finished previously, make sure to check out my project polish playlist. Previous to today's update, I had already finished four polishes. The first one that I finished was from Formula X in the shade Wondrous. After that, I went through my original formulas of Dream On from Sinful Colors. On my previous update, I shared two empties with you. One was from Nicole by OPI in the color Diva Into the Pool. And the last finished polish was from CoverGirl in the color Seared Bronze. After finishing those four polishes, I was left with this one, which is part of the original polishes that I picked at the beginning of the year. And also with this uh, mini, which you guys helped me vote in on my previous update. And since that was not enough for me, I also added a mini set from Formula X, which were neon polishes. All right, so now that we're all caught up, let's dive into the progress. I'm gonna start with the empties. And I'm so happy to announce that I finally finished the only polish that has been in my project since the beginning of the year. This is from Sally Hansen in the Diamond Strength line in the shade Together for Forever. The first line on this polish is my intro line. I didn't use this till my second update, so this is where I was last time. And I finished all of that nail polish this last few months. I am so happy that this is gone. You have no idea. This formula was not good. Um, it's probably due to age. This is one of the original polishes in my nail polish collection. I've had this for around eight years now, and this polish already smelled really bad. Um, it never dried on my fingernails, so most of the time I would just use it on my toes. I did, of course, use it on my hands maybe twice, you know, just trying to give it the benefit of doubt. I try to make it work. So I do have a swatch picture for you. On this watch picture, you can appreciate that there's bumps, there's bubbles, because it just wouldn't dry. The only reason why I put this polish back on my nails was just to take that swatch picture for you guys. But uh, most of the time, this lived on my toes. It, it just didn't work. It was a complete mess. Um, it looks like there's stuff in the bottle but it's just polish stuck to the sides. It was so goopy at this point that not even thinner could help it. I've been storing it upside down for quite a while and literally nothing comes out, so this one's done. My next empty is this mini from Formula X. This is the Neon Pop Base Coat. This came along with a set of neons that we're gonna talk about in a minute. Compared to the other four that we're gonna talk about in a minute, the formula on this was really good. Now, that doesn't mean the formula was good on this one. It's just in comparison to that. It did its job as the neon base for the polishes, but nothing special. And I'm just so happy this is gone. I will now just be using a white nail polish as a base for those polishes. It's just one less polish in my collection, and I'm totally fine with that. Either way, this brand is discontinued, so it's not to be missed. This little mini was completely full when I put it in this project back in April, and it didn't take me long to go through this. As I'm holding it against the light, I can see directly to the bottle, so I know there's nothing, but it kind of looks like there's polish in the side. Towards the end, the formula got very goopy on this little thing, so... That's why I think there's some stuck to the sides, but it, it's completely empty. The last empty that I have for you today is the mini neon pink from this set. It is in the color Flamingo. And again, this was completely full at the beginning of this project, and now it's empty. You can kind of see there that some of the polish is stuck to the sides, but there's nothing. Uh, that you see at the bottom, it's stuck to the bottom. Um, either way, that wouldn't even be enough to get two nails. The main reason why this one's empty and not the other ones is because I decided to focus on this. This is the only one out of the set that I just couldn't work with. It was so streaky, it never looked good on my nails. You can appreciate it here on my swatch photo. I already had two coats of the white neon base, two coats of this pink polish, and it still looked horrible. This never evened out for me, and towards the end it got gloopy, and stringy. This was just a hot mess and I'm so happy that it's gone. All right, so those are the three empties that I have for you today. Let's go on to progress. And let's start with the mini yellow one that you guys voted in, shall we? This polish does not have a color name. It's just the yellow mini polish from Bonbons. It was a gift from my daughter for last year's Mother's Day. So I'm just glad to be getting use out of it and she gets very happy every time I wear it. This polish was completely full at the intro and now I am about the halfway point. I have been enjoying this polish. To be honest, I did not expect much from this, but 
The formula is okay, it gets opaque in two coats. It dries at a reasonable amount of time. The formula hasn't changed. So I'm happy with it, I'm enjoying it. And since I'm already halfway, hopefully it'll be an empty soon. Okay, let's look into this neon pop set. I'm gonna start with the yellow one. This yellow has a good formula compared to the pink one that I finished. On my swatch, it's two coats over two coats of the white base. Um, this polish definitely need that white base. There's no way they're gonna get opaque on their own. I think it looks very even in my opinion. This little bottle was completely full when I put it into this project and this is where I'm at now. I've only used this polish I think once um, on that Manny for, that I got for my swatch photo and once for a Skittle Manny nail. So not much use out of this. I love yellow polish, don't get me wrong, but it's just been hard to split my time between these two. I didn't realize how close they were to color. This little one is not a neon but it's kind of bright. They're just too similar for me and maybe adding Two yellows to my project polish was not a very bright idea, but we're here now. <laughs> the next polish on the neon set is this red-orange neon, and this is in the color Electropine. This is one of the best out of the set. Again, when I'm saying best, I don't mean these are good neons, okay, by any means. It's been quite an experience trying to make this polishes work, to be honest. Again, this mini bottle was completely full when I put it into this project, and now I'm there. I think I got maybe one Manny as well. The progress in this one is very similar to the yellow one. Um, I can't remember right now. But I really enjoy this polish and I don't think I'm gonna have trouble finishing this soon. The last polish on this project is the one that I have the most progress on and this is the green neon. This is in the color Hotline Bling. This one is literally halfway. It was completely full when I put it into this project again and now I'm halfway through this mini size. When it comes to neons, greens are always my favorite so I was very excited to play with this one which is why it has the most use. However, I noticed that on my nails it pulls very yellow instead of green so again with the other two yellows, it was just too too similar. Here on the bottles, you can definitely tell one is yellow, one is green, but for some reason, once the green goes on the nail, it, go, it looks very yellow. So for that reason, I don't like it, and I look forward to finishing this very soon. So that brings me to the end of this update. This is what's left on my project polish. They're all minis, and they all have really good progress. I'm pretty sure I'll be done with them very soon. I have decided not to add any more polish to this project. I'm just gonna play with the four that I have right now. I would love to continue finishing polishes especially because I have a lot but I do have a lot of watching videos coming up and realistically speaking if I'm lucky I'll have time to wear this so I don't want to put more on my plate than I can handle at this point. What I'm probably going to do is just update you guys when they're all finished and that would be my finale. I'm not sure when that will come but as soon as all four minis are done, I would update you guys and just post my finale for this year. So far I have finished a total of seven polishes in this project and that's very exciting. I know some of them are minis but to me that doesn't matter, it's just another polish out of my stash. I truly enjoy showing love to my polishes and slowly moving polishes out to make room for new ones. If you all seen my nail polish storage, I am running out of space. That's ridiculous, like one of my drawers is completely full and I'm trying to figure out a way to store my nail polishes now because I ran out of storing space, but that's a whole different story. As always, thank you so much for your time today. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss another project polish update, which in this case, it would be my finale. I appreciate you guys spending some of your time with me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.